So today is a great day. We're in Basel World at one of my favorite booths with the global CEO of Di Grisagonago with Fawaz. Fawaz, first of all, thank you for sitting down with us. Tell us how uh, Basel World's going for the group this year. Well, so far so good, but uh, you can't really know until the end of it. So we're waiting another couple of days, but the, the mood is positive and uh, let's see. And tell us a little about some of the watches at launch. We were able to shoot uh, the watches. The sugar watches are amazing. Tell us a little about the mindset of creating those pieces uh, as you have lots of colors, but the sophistication of the pieces are beautiful. So tell us a little about those well, pieces. You, know, you might want to go to life out of it. The idea came, I was in a bar in, uh, in Rome. I was having a coffee in a, in a bar and uh, just all these uh, sugar pieces that they use in Italy and I uh, got the idea to make a watch in that form and I call it sugar because of that. Then we give it some we give to this watch a bit of life in the sense that the setting, the mobile, the, the, the stones. And it's very colorful. I think we have six different colors and uh, we had quite a good success with it. And you have two different sets of the six colors, correct? Exactly. Um, and one is fully um, set. Mm -hmm. and uh, the other one is uh, halfway with the set of stones. And we also looked at the tourbillon pieces too. Um, tell us a little about the tourbillon pieces for the ladies. Well, for a long time everybody asked me to do a tourbillon, I never wanted to do a tourbillon because everybody makes a tourbillon. Finally I was convinced to do it and I decided to do it only for women because after all on the market there is so many tourbillons for men but not really much for women and I think it was the the right decision in the sense we did just three models one in um, black gold, one in brown gold, and one f just in uh, white gold. Going back on that, because um, obviously you understand the ladies' market well, do you think the ladies' appetite for more sophisticated pieces are the future of the watchmaking business? Well, you know, there is two type of food there is the Asia, and there is the Europe, and the rest of the world. In Asia, there is a uh, uh, women they like to have a small complication yes uh, in Europe and the States I think women they prefer to have a, a watch like a piece of jewelry they don't really care about the movement they're very happy with a, a horse movement but I mean, everywhere there is somebody that likes this or that or what. mainly in Europe or in the States is horse for ladies tell us about the brand uh, in the Russia market how's the Russia market for the brand well, the Russian market I started, I was one of the very first people, jewelers or watchmaker to go in Russia. If I'm not wrong, they, we started the operation in 1995 or 1996. And um, we are distributed through Mercury, which is a very close friend of mine. And they treat the bread from the first day in an impeccable way. They give us an extremely good image. And we work successfully from the very beginning, and we are there since 1995. Excellent. And um, our magazine, one of our markets, our core market is Miami. Uh, you guys are opening up in the Bell Harbor Mall. How excited are you to be in the Miami market? Well, you know, we're going to open the shop, I think, on next Wednesday, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Hopefully, because we're supposed to be open. So you go from Basel to the opening. I mean, that's a lot. <laughs> no, I'm not going to the opening uh, now, but I will go after the film festival and can there's too many things to do. Uh, I'm very excited, uh, especially for the South American market. It's very close to uh, to Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, etc., etc. And uh, I'm quite positive. I really pushed the opening of Miami against all the odds. There were other places to open, probably, but uh, I pushed it, and I'm really very positive about Miami. And where's the store going to be located in Bell Harbor? Probably just on the corner with sex. Oh, perfect. Great location. My next question is, is you're a man of impeccable taste. What's the current watch that you're wearing? Show us the watch that you the wearing. My that first you're wearing. watch oh, wow. is the instrument number uno. That was our first watch in 19, no, in the year 2000. And I never take it off. I never put any other model because I'm very superstitious, so I keep, I keep it always on. So it's a lucky watch for you? It looks like and to finish it off, um, any new developments or what's next? I mean, you obviously have Basel, then you have the Cannes Film Festival, the opening of Miami, so you have a lot on the plate. Anything else uh, that you'd like to discuss well, or the tell? The season for us starts in Europe, mainly in Sardinia, uh, 
so we'll be, I will be moving to Sardinia from the beginning of July until the middle of August. And we have a lot of events over there during those two, three months. Well, sir, again, I mean, we saw you last year. We're a huge fan of the brand. We look forward uh, to you coming to our core market in Miami, and we look forward to seeing you uh, after the season, uh, starting in September in Miami. So thank you for your time. Thank you.